All right, so my antique book collection is now growing. And let's get this open, this eBay purchase. All right, so this book is 114 years old. And hope, hopefully the seller uh, did a good job of packing this. And uh, how can we open this? All right, how can we open this? Now, the sad part is is, well, I paid only $23 for it. It looked like it was in good condition in the pictures, but the seller put it in a big oversized box with no stuffing inside of it because I can hear it rolling around inside. All right, so let's ugh, try to get this open if we can. I'm just going to use the scissor for this. So if you're a seller on eBay, please, for the love of God, do not send antique books like this. Okay? Like, throw it in a box like you really don't give a shite. And not put any kind of packing material inside of there. I mean, it doesn't cost much to roll up old newspaper so this thing doesn't move around inside an oversized box and get damaged. What a schmuck. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> it just pisses me off. All right, let's get this bowl of wrap off and hope to God that this was not damaged. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you for not using any packing materials except for one thin piece of bubble wrap. Jeez Louise, 114 years. 100 of, 114 years of history and some dude just throws it in a box like he doesn't give a shite. That always pisses me off. And another thing, if you're selling any kind of like antique paper or books never put bubble wrap on top of it and tightly wrap it around it put something over it first like several layers of tissue paper because you can leave the impression of the bubbles on the actual paper and again this guy was no rocket scientist but not everybody knows what I know so you can't always blame everybody $23 what do you want Oh, this is a beaut. This is a nice. Look at this. Okay, hold on. This is really, really quite pretty. And what do we have here? Again, made in 1908. This is the first edition of a book of sweethearts. And it's basically a pinup book. And a pinup book was with these pretty ladies in it. So these old books are getting harder and harder to find in good condition. The issue is, is with colored book plates inside old books. People, sadly, who really should not be doing this at all, uh, take out the book plates of these old, beautiful, historical books and frame them. And people did this not just now, I mean, way back in time as well. Uh, they would take these uh, books and just cut them apart rip all the pages out with any kind of picture that was interesting and you know frame it and destroy the book now if the book was like trashed I you know I could see that you know what I mean but if it's relatively in good shape please if you're a newbie to collecting antiques please don't take old magazines and old books and periodicals and tear pages out of it just to frame it it destroys history seriously um Pretty soon, not too many of these books are going to survive. Um, they're going to be gone, gone with the wind. So we have uh, pinup girls. And basically, these type of girls were known as Gibson-style girls of the time frame. Um, Gibson girls are actually made uh, after a famous uh, illustrator and artist by the name of Charles Dana Gibson. He started it all. After that, several other artists came to light who were his successors, such as Harrison Fisher, who is the illustrator of this book. Now, Harrison Fisher, being a Brooklyn, New York magazine illustrator, had taken over Charles Dana Gibson, who was the first person who made these type of uh, pictures of pretty ladies. Now, Charles Dana Gibson was actually an illustrator, an American artist, who was best known for his creation of these type of girls called Gibson Girls or It Girls. Um, it was a representation of beautiful and independent Euro-American women in the 20th century. The images of Gibson girls basically had an S silhouette type of dress, which was very, very, very narrow, which accentuated their hips, their behinds, and their bosoms. And uh, it was not lewd or crude. It was actually very classy. 
and the Gibson girl. She was tall, slender, but with, again, ample bosom, and her corset, which was tight, tightened so tightly around her waist, gave her the look of having, like, no waist at all. Like, her waist was cinched in, and everything else was, like, hanging out, if you know what I mean. So the hips would have been wider looking because of that. The bosom would be larger looking because of that. And her derriere. And uh, so this Fisher guy, Harrison Fisher, actually, again, a Brooklyn artist, was known to make illustrations for many, many major magazines. And he made uh, his acclaim with making pretty ladies like this. Other artists that you can collect and look for in these old type of books are people such as Howard Chandler Christie, and he was known as making the Christie Girl. Clarence F. Underwood is another such illustrator. And you'll find a lot of these books are almost like coffee table books. Some of them were romantic novels like we have over here. The Alternative, again, and uh, with uh, such beautiful illustrations inside of it. And I did a video showing you this. And let's try to get to a colored plate without damaging the book because I only paid actually I thought it was five dollars they paid two dollars and fifty cents for this on eBay and you'll see such illustrations like this in them which are really quite beautiful and uh, you'll find a lot of these books uh, being sold by a books for eighty to two hundred and fifty dollars if they're in really 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 very very fine condition now, sadly, you don't find many of them in very, very fine condition. And uh, so they'll sell for between probably uh, 20 to $70 in the okay condition. In really bad condition where the binding's falling apart, probably $20 or less. So let's check this out. So this is basically poems in here with various artists. So we're not just going to get Harrison Fisher uh, pictures. We're going to get many, many different artists. And this is the first time I'm opening up this book and looking at it. Again, 114 years old. I'm trying to be as careful as possible as not to damage any of the pages. So when we open up this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful old 114-year-old book, we see this beautiful Art Nouveau meets Edwardian era type of designs going through it. Uh, really great art and uh, quite, quite lovely. And so we see another one of these It Girls. And these It Girls, they had the, the looks and the bonnet and the clothes and the fashion of the time that was dictated to women. This is what the ideal woman looked like to men back in the day, starting uh, with the uh, monster Charles Dana Gibson. He ex I guess he designed uh, these, you know, these type of feminine pretty type of women and all women were expected to be this style this type and so here we go this uh says be good sweetheart and let who will be clever um pictures by famous american artists decorations by will jenkins and you can see this lovely lovely almost art nouveau style and it was published by grosset and dunlap Okay, so let's get this book open. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. So I get very nervous turning the pages of these old books. And here we go. Copyright 1908. I have known many, liked a few, loved one. Here's to you. And so this would have been a great book to actually give to somebody, like a man to a woman. It's very, very romantic. And here we have a picture by, it looks like, Clarence Underwood. Yeah, Clarence Underwood, 1908. Really a great, iconic image. I mean, fabulous. And here we have a great illustration. And it looks like I can't even read who the, uh, who the artist is. Um, I can hardly see because I'm looking through my phone right now. But there you go. And that's a really great, great picture. And we have poems. And I won't read them because you guys will get bored and hit the back button. But by popular demand, if you write it in the comments, 
that you want me to read all these poems to you, I will. I'll be glad to do so. And here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. And this was, it says, copyright by Will Grace, 1908.
sweethearts for the love you bear to men like as much of this book as pleases you O men for the love you bear to sweethearts may the book be fruitful to you and your bountifully please So I hope you enjoyed another one of these old 114-year-old books. If you did, write it in the comments below. If you want me to read all the poems to you, I will. And thanks a lot for watching another episode of Ghetto Antiques Roadshow. Book storytelling time. And illustrations, too. <laughs>